have not shot for Mega in a long time. Hello now everyone, my name is BJ Pascual. I've been a professional photographer for the past 15 years now. And today we are shooting Heart Evangelista for Mega Magazine's 32nd anniversary issue, which also happens to be their kind of like a relaunch because they have a new logo, new everything. Today is also a new episode of my series called Power, wherein I interview industry legends here in the Philippines. So today we are going to be interviewing editor-in-chief of Mega Magazine, PB Reyes Isidro, and and the returning creative director of Mega Magazine, Patrick T. If you want to find out what's going to happen in today's shoot, just keep on watching. I have not shot for Mega in a long time. What convinced me to do the shoot actually was when Elds told me that Patrick T is coming back as creative director of Mega Magazine. So when I was starting out, Patrick was the fashion editor of Mega at the time. <laughs> So Patrick T is actually known for his very maximalist like creative direction. And I remember a lot of the Mega Magazine covers from when I was still in college were all creative directed and styled by Patrick T. So I'm very excited that he's coming back. Else is gonna be here too. You know, Else, maraming maraming na kaming collaborations. Hopefully, we give the guys what they want today. Wait, parang back up. <laughs> so for the creative direction, Patrick wanted something very surrealistic. He sent like a whole deck of very surreal images. Me and Els had our own idea, so Els wanted all the fashion to be like reference to heart. So heart-shaped clothes, silhouettes, accessories, earrings. Basta everything will be heart-shaped. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually had to pre-light the night before and we finished at midnight and today we're starting the shoot at 6 a.m. roll time. We've been here since like 4.30 so it's going to be a long day but very excited. <laughs> I mean, those are the only ones. I don't want to be in the Uh oh, okay, white, white. Yes. Yes.
Okay, now we have our very powerful guests this episode. Mega Magazine's editor-in-chief, Piri Res Isidro. Thanks, Beach. Thanks for being here. And of course, the returning, the iconic, Patrick T. Hi. How does it feel to be back? Same. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I worked with you then. Mm. That's ngayon, you know, certain things are different, but it's the same, di ba? Correct, marami nga. At pag-uusapan natin yun later. But first, si Pui actually was the one who gave me my first publishing job ever. Ah, talaga? That's yes. amazing. Uh, oh. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Because I think BJ was one of the creatives that really stood out. And at that time, he was pursuing a lot of things. And from then on, I realized that BJ was really one of those creatives na he would pursue the creative world. But it's a matter of him just, I guess, discovering ko ano yun. Yes. And now... Kaya sobrang thankful ko kay Piwi because before, when I was in college, well, I grew up in Cavite. Literally, wala akong kilala sa industry. And there was Piwi na nakita lang niya yung work yeah. ko. Sa, parang multiply pa ba ng <laughs> time time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shirts, yeah. Yeah, so we shot for them. And at the time, I was doing that. And then I was also styling. Styling, yeah. And doing photography. So si Piwi, Literally, she was editor in chief, no? no? I think so, yeah. Yes. At that time, yeah. She was the same thing that was taught to me in order to send out requests for pull-outs to borrow clothes. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Fax. 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 Send pull-out letters addressed to this and then send yes. it to Fax. Fax. I asked her to send it to Piwi. How to send it to Fax. How to Fax. Because I was like, how to Thanks for reminding me. I forgot about that part. Okay. <laughs> And si Patrick naman, like, hindi ko pa siya nakaka-work doon. Fast forward pa to like maybe five years after when like, the first shoot ko for Mega Magazine was of course under Patrick. Patrick. Actually, I didn't know you, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, I knew Elds, who was the stylist. And then he kept on telling me, ah, I want to work with this new photographer, si BJ, ganyan, ganyan. So, binigay ko lang yung general concept, no? And then I was like, I can't promise if it will run or not, but ganito yung gawin natin. You know, the rest is history. Because I think after that, we started working uh, with each other. Almost. Yeah, dire direction na. With so many editorials. Ka pa nun. So that, Tama. Was, <laughs> that was the same, probably the same time. And then eventually, si Piwi also eventually headed Mega na yeah. until now. Grabe. Yeah, so at that time, I was in a youth title, Meg. And then, actually, the very first um, entry in publishing was a, as a fashion assistant in Mega. Ah, that's how you started? Yeah, that's okay. how I started. And then, my editor then was Lisa Elarde. Mm -hmm. So I started out as a fashion assistant. And and then I moved to the youth title, which is Meg. I stayed there for almost, I think, give or take five years. I became editor in chief. And then after that, I went back to Mega as its executive editor. And then from there, I became editor in chief. And I've held that position for 10 years now. Wow. It's been a while. Oh my God. <laughs> Patrick, naman, when I was in Meg, was the fashion editor, editor. of uh, Mega. I think we've come full circle because now he's back and he's working with us naman in Mega, back as our creative chief. Correct, my God. Wait, before we move on, Patrick, how did you start then? Actually, I started um, as an intern. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was still in school uh, in La Salle. We're all from La Salle. I, oh, no, no. Yeah. I was always inclined with, to do magazines, but I didn't know how. Para siyang ano, it was an elite circle, ng konti lang ng tao, and I didn't really know how to penetrate. penetrate. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I interned because I was thinking this is my foot in the door. And if I'm there, they'll probably hire me than someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was Seventeen magazine. It's a teen title. Yes. yes. Uh -oh. So I moved to Mega. I got hired as a fashion associate, mm -hmm. but. After six months, um, I became fashion editor. Um, wow. Because I was so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alam namin <laughs> What are the main differences of working in publishing before? Especially for you, Piwi, nakita mo siya from then hanggang ngayon. And for you, Patrick, you stopped, di ba, at the height of publishing. Yes. And then returning now, mm -hmm. ang laki na ng part ng social media. How are things different? I think for me, especially when you mentioned that uh, I was there at the golden age of print, so it's a different kind of discipline. Because the production itself is you work on the magazine two or three months prior to the release. But I think the importance of digital is that 
it's a tool that you can use to amplify maybe the stories that are found in print. Obviously, sa print, there's a way of telling a story that is suited or uh, made for print. And then for digital, you find a way to make it bite size or faster or easier access. Nakakatawa kasi during this shoot that yeah. we're doing, yeah. <laughs> pagbasong ni Patrick sabi niya, sa'yo ba ito lahat? <laughs> <laughs> referring to the equipment. And then bahang sabi niya, dati payong-payong lang tayo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You know, before kasi our resources were also limited. Limited, yeah. But it's still people, limited. <laughs> <laughs> it, taught, it taught people how to be resourceful. Um, you are the stylist, the art director, the booker of the nails, the booker of the makeup artist. You are the person in charge of food. Ikaw yun lahat eh. Because in a shoot before, it was just me, you, the model, the makeup artist. You know, we didn't have all these digital people, yes. uh, social media team, and YouTube team. It was very different. Yeah. These jobs are very legitimate. Yeah. Uh, you can say, you can be in college and say, I will be a creative director. Yeah, or a content and creator. Yes, and yes. I will not question it. Yeah. Right? It validated a lot of jobs. Yeah. Um, creative jobs. Yeah, especially in the past 15 years, no? Because yes. when I was starting then, like, your grandparents especially were like, photographer, I don't know, like, Nin nila ma grass na job siya. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So actually, that's the good thing because it really validated mm -hmm. You, yeah. you, the I mean, each one of us and the many creatives, young creatives there. This was Anna Wintour's quote from her Oxford parang oh. commencement address or something. People would always say, especially our parents or like the generation, the generation before us. us, would always say, and you should be great at one thing, not good at many things. But this is a talk ni Anna Wintour. She was like, do not be over specialized, especially in this age of social media. And she said this okay. before like social media was really big. So I was like, grabe siya, visionary talaga. You shouldn't over specialize. You should try new lots of different things, especially in this age of social media. It's good to have multiple skill sets. And so, she's right. Yeah, yeah and she's right. Like oh, yeah. like yeah. you kinda have to do a little bit of everything. Of For our 32nd anniversary, we put Heart Evangelista on the cover. I think like Mega, who has you know a legacy, we've been around for 32 years. We've also seen Heart evolve into you know something else. We've been there to document her growth and her transformation. been with her in this journey of her as she became one of the global style personalities. So it's important for us to align ourselves with, you know, someone who is also open to evolving and constantly, you know, changing. It's a different kind of storytelling for this issue. We're glad to have her again, but to present her in a new way, in a new manner. been like a fan of magazines then since I was like very young but very late bloomer ako sa fashion but when I started reading fashion magazines of course sobrang iconic nung mga mega covers na naaalala ko kayo magsimula like what are your favorite mega shoots or covers I think my most favorite cover would have to be the cover that um, we shot in South Africa mm -hmm. because that so was when I became. Oh. That's your launching. Yeah, that oh. was. Uh, no, I became yeah, yeah, yeah. editor in chief, but it was kind of a test mm -hmm. for me because I had to sort of step up and lead or head the shoot. And I think Beach going to South Africa, traveling with Catherine, with Julia, Erich, and Maha. That's also hard to do, right? I mean, four of the biggest stars of their generation, we brought them to South Africa. Destination shoot is so hard because logistics is hard. I think I literally cried 
<laughs> so many days because I was exhausted, I was tired, I was acting as a bookings editor, I was doing the logistics, I was the hostess, you know, I had to fix <laughs> the food, yeah, I had, yeah, I had to fix the workflow, Correct. but I was, I was supported by, of course, the team who went there. It was just a lot of moving parts. But it was memorable for me because we got an iconic image and of course it's a dream to go to South Africa. When, where, when else can you say na, you know, I've been to South Africa and we shot there. Go, go Patrick. Patrick. Um, mine would be, I think, Lucy Torres, um, maybe 2006, mm -hmm. around this time. No? Covers were so standard. The makeup style was so standard. Lucy was this breathtaking beauty. You know, gonna, she had a commercial, right? So this cover, she was gothic. The hair was so big, the makeup was so dark, the clothes were romantic. Tapos, I remember borrowing the paintings of Kiko Escora. And I think Kiko Bayo. Kiko Escora. Yes. 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 People to think that okay. we're not in a studio because ah. we are. Mm -hmm. So I said, let's just give it like a sense of realness because uh, the styling was so severe, you know. And it came out so different from everything that was being published then. At that time. So for me, it was a moment. Na parang I was able to execute my vision mm -hmm. exactly well. how I wanted it. These were the covers that really pushed. Mm -hmm. what was possible and At parang talagang it put mega on a pedestal mm. Yeah, that's actually super na miss ko yung mga ganong covers before because 2000s yes. or early 2010s parang you really see them like celebrities transform. Yes. Whereas you said na before that that it was very standard what they looked like. And there's and, so much pressure with that. Yeah. <laughs> actually after that era, it went back to yung standard look ulit, diba? Parang for a time like it was all, they all had a template of what to look like curly hair, parang you know. Big hair. I think oh. also it was a reflection of the, the time times. then. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, parang fashion and then was so theatric and yeah. fantastical. Yeah, yung mga Galliano for Dior. I think na saturate yun eh, because all the other magazines were doing it then. And yeah. how do you top what you've already done? done? So there's so much pressure for the team. How do we reinvent this actress? How do we do this again? Mm -hmm. So feeling ko, it reached a point na yun na yun. <laughs> there's no more transformation. Yeah. Yeah. So babalik siya. Cyclical, yeah. diba? It's right. really cyclical. So babalik siya sa yes. maganda yeah. lang. Uh -huh. And I think we're changing again. Uh -huh. Yes. That's what I loved about, like, why I actually did the shoot today. It's because when Patrick showed me the deck, I was like, yes. <laughs> and knowing Patrick, a Patrick's style then, yeah. I'll be like, yes, I want to do this, especially with elves and everyone. Parang it's just like old times, but, but a now. new take. I know. <laughs> yes, it's, it's it's fun. Like fun to see. Like especially heart never does looks like this, diba? Like Actually, parang, we were so nervous because yeah, you know, I mean, uh -oh. parang, she's so precise. Diba? Yes, and you've seen her in all these clothes and so many permutations of her makeup. Yeah. How do you convince someone like that? to try something new. new. To have gold leaf in yes, her hair. Yes, I remember, I was like, I told her, wala siyang reklamo. Okay lahat. <laughs> so, parang, yeah, yeah. you know, it was a good feeling because yeah. she agreed. And yeah. I know. I think it's also a testament to the power of yung mga hold nyo. Because, like, ako, I always work with heart. Halos every, like, two weeks, we shoot kami na heart. <laughs> She's never done this before. Oh, okay. So parang, I think it's a testament to your power, like convincing, or like, I guess the, the image you built as well, diba? I think with her, because she's also at the stage that she's embracing change, yeah. like we all are, and evolution or evolving is important for her. Mm -hmm. So I think with this endeavor, especially when you work with individuals who have strong vision or who are specific to their skills, you know that you're in good hands and you you know you're on board with the idea so yeah we were really excited and we also had our doubts in the beginning because mm. what if it doesn't work or what if she doesn't agree but you know we're so happy she did right yeah. and the, the images turned out really well and beautiful so, i know yeah. i'm yeah. everyone doubted the goal well, a bit that yeah. was a discussion no, in the beginning no one believed me <laughs> Honestly, ako din eh, parang, ha, gold foil with pink and red. I was like, hmm, 
wait lang. Pero nung nandun na siya, di ba, tineshot muna natin before she changed into the actual outfit. Parang, ah, yes. <laughs> Meron, di ba? Di ba din talaga? Di ba? Trust your vision. Uh, <laughs> Stick to it. Yun yeah. lang talaga. If gold foil, gold yeah. leaf, yun lang. That's the importance of having like a leader, I think, like uh, someone in the team who, you know, has a very specific vision that will lead everyone into an amazing final outcome. But also the talents you work with, mm. right? Because you can have the, the best vision, right? Mm. The most innovative thing. Idea. Yeah. But if you don't have a team that will support you, uh, yeah. right? You yeah. need yeah. a great makeup artist, a great photographer, mm -mm. Um, great a great hairstylist. Yeah. It's really collective. Yeah. Yeah. So you're only really as good as your team. Agree with uh, you. Um, yeah. And if they believe you, I think nangyayari yung mga ganyan. Things Magical na, things yeah. happen. Yeah. Tama! I love that. So the concept of the shoot is surrealism, no? I wanted to do something that was whimsical, parang dream. And I wanted something that was true to what I really do, which is really parang fashion fantasy. No? Elves, the stylists, as a lot of Filipino designers, the really best ones and the most cerebral ones to create clothes that proposed a new silhouette. But when we were doing it, I thought, you know, if it's a new silhouette, why not personalize it? So it's a heart, but in different forms, incorporating different permutations of a heart. So it's a new idea, very personalized, but really true to the vision of Mega, which is a new proposition, maximalist fashion, fantasy. So it's really about bringing back the essence of Mega, creating a platform for all these creatives to do something that's different. It's the, the DNA of the brand and it's really what I wanted to bring back. Tell us about the first time you worked together. The truth is, this is the first time we've ever worked together in the same brand. Ah, the ba? cover shoot. So, oh my God, what a moment to shoot. <laughs> yeah, it was the very first time. Patrick was with Mega before, and then I, I went to Meg, and then I went to Mega, and then he was somewhere else, and then he went back again to Mega. So it's come full circle for both of us. And I've seen how he works. I know his vision. It was amazing because everything that he mentioned, in the beginning, I was on board na talaga. And I was so excited about it. I felt like parang it was uh, for me to, to support him and give him everything he needed for us to achieve the shoot. So what yeah. What DJ needed? He oh, needed to set up the night of before? Of course, yeah. Yes. Of course, oh, oh. Thank you. Oh, oh. Very and, rare yun, alam, may magazines at alawas. Kasi nga, always limited talaga budget for publishing. But that's also what makes you BJ, BJ, BJ Pascual, because you wanted the work to matter. You wanted it to be perfect, and you didn't have to do it, right? But because yeah, I know how to do this, no way, but you still did that, and that's what makes you you. It's really a matter of working with, you know, collaborators and creatives that are passionate about the job, and they know what they're doing, right? But you know, like with Pats, I trusted him. He's such a professional. You know, he calms you in the set. But I feel like inside, there's a storm brewing or parang. <laughs> he kept his cool and you know, like everything turned out well. Actually, I think also, <laughs> that's because I told also TV, let's work with people we like <laughs> and people we're, we're comfortable with because we these people them. will deliver. Mm -hmm. You know, if you trust the team that mm -hmm. you, you work, you, with, you work um, with, that you get, you're more calm. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, because your imagination, what if this happens? Mm -hmm. and, you know, and in a creative thing, means it comes out exactly as planned. Means it's sometimes so organic, it it's completely different than what we planned. If you trust your team, you trust the vision. Uh -huh. Diba? Na maganda yon. 
It's like we've known each other the entirety of our professional life. Pero, yeah, I would think I you would have worked together before. We never but... worked together because she was with Meg, I was with Mega. We were together at events uh, mm-hmm. the time, and we sometimes we would shoot together in the same location, location yeah. but different shoots. Yeah. Ayan nga. Ito pala our first. first shoot. I love it. <laughs> what are the most challenging shoots na na may isip mo ngayon? Ikaw pili parang yun din eh, char. <laughs> <laughs> the Making Mega series are always challenging. I guess just put everything together. For me, that's the hard part. And yung puyat. Kasi when you're traveling, you have so many shoots that you have to produce. Yeah. So parang you're working on a schedule and then you finish late at night and then you have to wake up early the next day. And then you're running on like three or four hours of sleep. When we used to do mga out of the country shoots, literally, we don't just do a cover. We do like three editorials after the cover. And that's shooting morning, gabi, yeah, morning. Yeah, like, de- 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 oh, oh, It's really hard. It's and the travel, because the travel, wait, ka, de ba? And then as soon as you land, you have to deliver. You yeah. have to work. Yeah, and so, it's not it's not a familiar place, yes, ba, To shoot yes. in. I think it's also an out of the country shoot. Yeah. Uh, so I think around the time uh, mid 2000s. <laughs> so Mega was the first to do Paris mm-hmm. to like uh, watch the shows, and I had six suitcases of pullouts. Because it's not just cover. <laughs> you know, you do editorials and all these things. Multiple editorials. Sometimes beauty editor ka, fashion editor, you know. I had to steam all the clothes for the next day, so until mga 4 a.m. and then my makeup call time would be 7. So, you know, yung pagod na yon, and then, syempre, you have to imagine what it will be. It's not just getting the clothes there. You need to be present, mm. di ba? Uh, make so decisions that, Make decisions. The, shoot. the fatigue of um, an out-of-the-country shoot is extreme yon. And then, I remember pa, there was a time, so we had a shoot in Amsterdam, tapos sabi nung model sa akin, sundin ko siya sa Paris. So, huh? at 11, <laughs> no, I really remember this. At 11 p.m., <laughs> sundin ko siya sa train station in Paris, went back to Amsterdam, Tapos, um, we were walking the streets na mga 5 a.m. Madilim. And then there was a less fortunate uh, person na hinabol kami with a knife. What? But <laughs> yes, but you know, these are memories Uh-oh. na maalala mo. Adventure. Uh, you know, kasi athlete ka din pala. <laughs> you didn't know. Track star. Oh, oh, sprinter ka pala. It all sounds so... Yeah. Glam. Grand, oh, sure. and yeah. glam, yeah. but the stories behind it. Blood, sweat, and tears. Are funny. <laughs> For me, ang pinaka challenging ko sa Mega, aside from out of the country, was in, I think, 23rd. 23rd. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're gonna Which say that. Gateful. We commissioned uh, BJ to shoot 23 rising stars and individuals. 23 people. Oh, okay. 23 <laughs> in Banyo Romo. Yes. And we shot that three nights? Three, three days. days. Three, three days. days. And I had to fly to the States, I think, the first day or second day. So BJ really took on and really, you know, man, the set. I remember, because New Year, I eh. was meeting ako parang January 1 or January 2. And I presented a new, like, concept. A new uh-huh. concept. We had to shoot all the girls individually or by twos. Para maganda yung lighting nilang lahat for the cover. But we already, like, plotted the, the um, layout. Naka drawing na siya kung ano yung post nila and everything. Para ishushoot na lang talaga namin sila. And it was very systematic na. But some of the handlers, of course, wanted their alagas to be shot first. Yeah. Or, ganyan, or even so the billing. Parang first time kung main na pitigan. <laughs> <laughs> That shoot, because it's like, it's not good, it's not good, it's not good, it's not good, it's not That's actually one of the things that I miss, the mm-hmm. creative K- yung chaos. collaboration. Because uh, okay. um, sometimes, diba, yung idea mo, kala mo solid. Okay. And then you talk to your photographer, parang may sinasabi siya na you didn't think of. Yeah. Uh, or you talk to your makeup artist, it's not possible, mm-hmm. uh, hindi pwede ganyan, ganito dapat. You know, this exchange mm-hmm. is, of ideas it gives you life. And then each point of view is represented in, a, in one picture. Sure. Yeah. When you sent the deck, parang me, Els had his own ideas. Yes. Yes. Parang we yes. all had our own input. Even the production designer, yeah. you had your own uh, idea. But that's good, the Yeah, oh, um, parang, that's what I love about shoots. Parang really feeding off of everyone's creative ideas, energies to make something hopefully diba, fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Especially and if you your need... subject yeah. understands. Mm-hmm. And I think Hart understood. The assignment. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, agree. Um, <laughs> the first layout pa lang parang... Yung talaga yung first yung layout. Yung talaga I told Pimi, diba? Yeah. I could have gone home. Yeah. You said that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I first layout. Yeah. When I heard the gay gasps nung first shot pa lang. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's yeah. And true enough, it, well, so. uh, you've seen it. It's, yeah. it's now the cover. Yeah. That was the first shot of the day. So, yeah. ang saya. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> been championing of course young talents since the beginning you have YDC ganyan. so what is your advice to younger creatives there's a lot of creatives now who are supported with tools because there's social media the rise of digital what I want to tell them is that you really have to research and fuel your passion mm. social media and digital is a source of inspiration but coming off from what you said also you should have your imagination and have your own interpretation especially when you want to carve your own voice because it's important to have a POV, a vision, or a brand identity. I'm not saying na una palang dapat yeah. alam mo na. Work towards it. Mm -mm. Work on discovering that para you build your brand identity and what you stand for. Don't doubt what you're capable of. Personal experience, I never doubted, but no one believed in me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like that Pats is like, yes, no, I never doubted. Sure ako, eh. yeah. but, no, I'm sure I was sure, <laughs> but I'm, I wasn't sure if people would believe me, right? Mm -hmm. You just need one person to believe you, eh, na. But if you're unsure, how will the person believe you? And why will he or she be confident of you? So, kailangan you're sure. You don't have to be the best, but your vision needs to be intact. Um, there are so many people who want to be a photographers, and everyone is good. But why will I choose you over, over this guy? Yeah. But it's really vision. So don't doubt yourself. Yes, ang ganda ng sinabi niyo both. Sobrang helpful niya to the young people because as you said, diba, yung vision talaga, it's, it's important to work on your vision. And if you've already worked on or, or you're working on a vision na parang nasa isip mo na siya, na parang you know yourself, it's gonna be harder to doubt yourself. Yes. Mm. If you know your vision and what your point of view is. Ang ganda ng advice niyo. So thank you. Thank you. Grabe kayo. <laughs> Lumalabas yung mga edad natin sa mga advice. Charat. So to end this very fruitful, fruitful <laughs> chikahan session with these legends, what can you expect from this new era of Mega? I think with Mega, what works for us is that we stay true to our DNA and we know what you know our purpose is. It's still gonna be there. It's to champion creatives, local creatives, Filipino creatives, but. It's about also evolving with the times and adapting to change. So expect a lot of new propositions in uh, the new era of MEGA. It's always been a playground for creatives. I want MEGA to be at the standard for what Philippine fashion journalism is about. Siyempre, you know, you want to be global and all that. But this is really our voice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's what's happening else's. here. It's what's going on in our society. If it translates into something global, then well and good. But this is a magazine for us. So for me, you mean that's what they'll expect. It's yeah. our voice. Having known Mega before I entered the industry then, but I hope this new era para also brings back the feeling. Alam mo yun, when I was first looking yes. at Mega too, 
like as a young gay person. <laughs> na parang, oh my God, ang dami-dami niyang bangles. Ang ganda, like buong hand niya, puro, buong forearm niya, puro bangles lang. <laughs> I, I want the, the young creatives to be inspired to create again. Parang yes. ganon. And without limits. Yes, uh -huh. uh -huh. And be, be more gay. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, that's it for today's episode. Grabe, ang ganda ng advice natin from our industry legends. So yun, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole episode. Medyo mahaba but very, very inspiring. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And see you guys next time.